Have you met the one? Our culture seems a little obsessed with this sometimes. There are songs written about finding and losing the one. There are thousands of films that all seem to end with our hero, the main character, getting together with the one, usually after spending some time dating the wrong one. We have dating apps and websites devoted to helping you find the one, and a quick internet search will provide you with all sorts of Christian advice on finding the one. To me, all of that is nonsense. I don't believe in the one. I don't believe that God has got one person in store for each of us, and if we mess that relationship up, we'll have to settle for second best. I don't believe that Vicky and I were destined to be together, made specifically for one another. Had each of us made different life choices, I'm sure we could have been happy married to other people. I am really glad, however, that we didn't make different life choices and that God has been in our relationship from the start. But this whole notion of finding the one, it seems like nonsense to me. At least nonsense in terms of our romantic relationships. It's a bit different maybe when it comes to Jesus. In Matthew 12, we find some of the crowds who follow Jesus asking themselves if he could be the one, the one that they were waiting for. They bought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, and Jesus healed him so that he could both talk and see. All the people were astonished and said, could this be the son of David? A little later in Matthew's gospel, Jesus himself asked a question of his followers. He asked his disciples, who do people say the son of man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. As human beings, we look in all sorts of places for meaning, to bring ourselves self-worth, to find unconditional love. We all need to be loved. We're all designed to love and to be loved. And that's why I think our culture is so obsessed with finding the one, as if if we can only find our soulmate, if we can only find the one who is perfect for us, just right, then we will be satisfied. We will feel complete. Everything will be OK. We will be loved unconditionally and able to love unconditionally in return. And it will be easy. God's people in Jesus' time, they were also looking for the one, not the one to love them, but the one to lead them, to rule them, to guide them forwards. And so they asked about Jesus, could this be him, the son of David? And Peter says, for sure, you are him, the Messiah. One of the things about us living questionable lives is having the assurance that we have something that other people don't. That we have that unconditional love that so many other people are looking for. A love that doesn't fail us like even the best of human relationships do from time to time. And we also have a king of kings who gives us direction and hope. I think that this should make us a bit more confident that when people ask us about our questionable lives, we have something really important to share. We have something that so many people are looking for. Maybe they're just looking for them in the wrong places. Have you met the one? Maybe you could introduce someone else to him as well.